Today on CityCast Boise. Watching your favorite team play is always more fun with other fans, but if you haven't been able to snag game day tickets, we've got your guide to the best local sports bars, from who has the best view of the game to where you can go to score the best food and drinks. It's Thursday, September 26th. I'm Lindsay Van Allen, and this is what Boise's talking about. 103.5 KISS FM's Mateo is here with me to give me the lowdown on Boise's best sports bars. And there are a lot of contenders, I'm told, so this will be quite the challenge. Thanks for joining me, Mateo. For sure. Great to be back. How are you? How you been? I've been good. I've been good. How are you? Um, we are living the dream and the 106 degree days are past us. Yes. So it's all good out here. We're into the best of fall. No smoke. Yes, exactly. And that that takes me into my first question. Uh, Boise State has already been been selling out the tickets for their home games because it is this is the time to go and right. see those games. So if somebody's interested in supporting the Broncos in spirit, if not in person, what's a sports bar that you would recommend they should check out? Um, well, we're lucky uh, here that we have so many options, right? But uh, listen, Boise State football's got all the hype right now. They haven't lost like a bad game yet. So mm-hmm. people are still on the bandwagon. Not that I'm throwing shade at Boise State fans, but they can get a little flaky after a couple losses. Um, but I, I realize that there's kind of like an official an official watch party, more or less, for Boise State. Um, you're familiar with NIL, like this name, image, and likeness stuff? Nope. <laughs> okay, so and I, so and I, it's it's all good. I'm not like a, a sports fanatic, but like I know enough. So players can make money now. So these college kids can make okay. money and do brand partnerships, partnerships and whatnot. And so um, there's this thing called the Horseshoe Collective, and it's kind of this organization that helps match Boise State student athletes, no matter their sport, with local businesses, so that they can make some money and you know capitalize on them being stars. Yeah. And so um, the Horseshoe Collective has get, uh, grown a pretty big footprint in town, and they have an official watch party. So like, it's not Boise State sanctioned, but they are hand in hand with making sure athletes have a place to to stay here in Boise. And it's at the National, which is kind of a new vibe downtown when Western proper split into three concepts. Mm-hmm. So if you have you been in there since they've done this? Yes. Yeah, I went one time, but I didn't I didn't know about like maybe the sports bar part of it. Right. So when you go in and you go to the right, that's their concept that's called the National. And that is like the official Horseshoe Collective Boise State watch party. They've got folks, sometimes like Leon Rice will show up during football season. He's the basketball coach. They'll have people from Boise State or uh, popular alumni um, that are in town passing through or like Matt Bauscher from the basketball team back in the day. Um, They'll come through and hang out and watch the game with the fans because it's kind of like the diehard place. Um, It's where a lot of the donors go that help, I mean, realistically keep players on the team by finding them lucrative brand partnerships um, in the community. So if you're looking to go like all in on blue and orange, um, there's no more official watch party than the National Downtown Boise. I was going to say, I didn't even know that existed. But yeah, there's that sounds like a real official spot. And you might get to rub shoulders with, you know, some of the the alumni, the, you know, People exactly. who are making it happen. And by the, there's a beer, by the way, so you could even drink um, a Horseshoe Collective Blue and Orange beer there at the National. And the uh, the label of the beer can is a play drawn up by the head coach. So like it's it's all in Blue and Orange at the National. Wow, I had I was going to say I I had no idea how how like concentrated and really Bronco Blue and Orange it could get, but totally yeah. All right, Boise's doing it up big. Yes. So, Mateo, what makes or breaks a sports bar for you? Um, well, listen, for me, I would say uh, you need to be able to hear what's going on. I'm all for loud chaos, cheering, chanting, whatever it might be. But some places just have brutal acoustics or it's just like a big echo. And so um, we're lucky to have a lot of really good options here, even with like some not to I'm not trying to be the outdoors guy, but there are good sports patios (laughs) until it gets freezing. Um, And so, you know, being able to have a little bit of everything, a little food, a little drink and still pay attention to the game while you're socializing, I think is important. And there are certainly some places to check those boxes. What are some must haves that they really need? Like, what are you looking for when you walk into a sports bar that you're like, this is the place, this is this is where I'm going to be tonight and really just like watch the game? Right. Well, listen, I'm kind of a Boise snob, so I need to see some Boise beer on tap 
not even a beer guy, but I want to know that you're just invested in the community as I am by supporting your local business. And so when you go in, you look at the taps. All right, got lots of options. They're local. Great. Um, and then I think that um, there's nothing better than a big, like a large plate of nachos for a game. Even if you have one chip, name some, name a food more communal than a plate of nachos. Need to have a good TV screen, good volume, good alcohol options, and um, and some big tables to host you and all of your friends. Okay, are you are you a tall nacho guy or a mm. like wide nacho guy? Because I, I um, think that that sets the tone right there. I don't discriminate as long as they're not soggy. You ever had a soggy nacho? Oh, There's yeah. nothing worse than that. Mm-mm. Nothing worse, and they need to be spicy. But um, tall, wide, all sizes, equal opportunity <laughs> nacho eater. You don't discriminate. You don't no, discriminate. No, not at all. <laughs> I'm definitely, I'm I'm a wide nacho person. I want, I don't want my, you know, like, I don't want right. the naked chip. I want a chip that's got the toppings uh, on it. Like evenly equal, spread. Equally topped sure. chips. I'm about, yes. I'm about the equality with my nachos. Fair enough. Okay. Um, I'm guessing screens maybe play a role in sport, your sports bars of Absolutely. choice also. So yeah. who has the best screens or the best placed screens? Because you can have good screens, but if right. I've got to like, you know, contort myself to see the game, that's not a fun evening. Yeah, totally. Well, I've got, I've kind of got two favorites, um, for that and they're, they're different vibes. Um, downtown, I love, um, Tap House. They've got, um, good local nachos, Wings and everything else, right? But this the the there's not a bad seat in the house because there are screens everywhere. Um, I get into college basketball a lot more than football, though I love both. And they're always willing to flip a TV for you. A speaks to the the great folks that work there, but also they have enough TVs to do that. So that's always huge. Um, and then far more party vibe, but I I'm a glutton for it. Is uh, uh, Perea in the North End? Mm. Um, Perea downtown, cool. Glad they expanded. Perea in the North End. That's where the soul is at. A little patio, a little indoor. There's big screens everywhere. Um, all of the tables at Perea, more or less, are communal. So they sit, you know, uh, probably 12, I would guess. So you're always going to meet some cool people there while you're uh, while you're watching a game and enjoying things. And there's not a bad seat in the house. TVs everywhere, big TVs everywhere. And it's small enough to where it's not crammed, but it's intimate. Okay, we lightly touched on this with the nachos and the beer, but it's not it's not a good sports bar without excellent food. So right. in your opinion, which sports bar has the best food? Just hands down, you know you're going to eat good while you're watching the game. Yeah, that's difficult. I'm going to, well, I'm going to double down on one real quick because okay. um, Perea hits the spot. It's great food to have when you have been drinking. You can make your own tacos, your own burritos, your own nachos, whatever. Very customizable. It's a good time. It's a different style. Um, but I also think the shed, um, just kind of like feet away from Boise State's campus, um, it's a great sports bar vibe in there. And um, everything I've ever had there from like spicy chicken sandwich, the burger, I'm going to say nachos again, but it's always top notch. Um, they have a great kitchen staff. Uh, the food is always delicious. And um, the, the the bar and the screens, too, are all primo. What's something unique you've had at a sports bar that you haven't seen in other places where you're like, oh, that was that was different, but a really good experience while I was watching the game? I'm trying to remember where I was at. I want to say it was in Meridian. I don't want to falsely credit the curb. I, the curb's a cool little spot in Meridian. Um, but I want to say that they had one of those things where it's like a burger with a skewer through it. And then it has like a hot dog on top of that. And then it had something else on top of the hot dog. Now, I would never order that, but you see them coming out and it's like the thing to order. I want to say it's the curb and they just they skewer a burger and a hot dog. And I think it was a brat all in one jab. If that's your uh, cup of tea, well, then good for you. But I, yeah, three meals in one. Right. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully three people are eating those meals. But um, if you want to have all three, that's fine. No discrimination here. And what about people who are on a tight budget? Do you have a recommendation for the most affordable spot where you can hang out, watch the game, uh, get some cheap eats and drinks, have a great night, but not break your budget? My first recommendation would be your backyard because it's more fun at your house anyway because you can wear what you want, walk around barefoot and everything else, and you don't have to deal with any crazy drunk people, which can happen from time to time. But um, my friends would never say this is a sports bar and this is blasphemy. 
but I would argue that you can watch a game, get cheap food, and have definitely have cheap drinks at um, Mulligan's, kind of on the edge of downtown Boise. And uh, I, especially during tree fort time, there's usually basketball going on during that time of year. And I love to watch basketball and take a tree fort break at Mulligan's because everything is cheap. That's a great time. Everybody knows each other. Everybody knows each other's names. It's great, um, but definitely affordable. And I would, uh, I wouldn't say they don't, well, they don't have food, but cactus bar is always a nice option too with uh, some cheap drinks for sure. <laughs> Okay, so we've already talked about sometimes it can get a little rowdy in the sports bars. But if you're if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for an exciting night out, maybe you want to be in a spot where the energy is fantastic. You feel like you're in the stadium. Where should people go? Um, Yeah, I always feel like um, they do a great job of this. And uh, I just turned 30 not long ago. So I'm learning that um, people that are not 30 look a lot younger than you. As I adapt to that, um, college football games, Silly Birch, um, right downtown Boise, does an amazing job of making Boise State or college football games feel like you're in it. And um, I I loved the visual. I I even went back to take a picture of it. Uh, When Boise State was playing at Oregon two weekends ago, the crowd was crazy in the restaurant. They had packed the patio and it was bleeding into the streets because people were watching from so far away to, to see what was happening with this game. They do a great job of packing people in there and turning the volume up. And it's a can of sardines, but it's fun. Same can be said for Sunday with NFL. Um, it's not as 21-year-old uh, forward on Sundays. But uh, you can go in there and the volume is up. Everybody crams in. Everybody's wearing their jerseys, flying the colors, and uh, making friends or enemies. And uh, it's it's quite the environment. It's a great, they do a great job. I appreciate the recommendations for two different age demographics yeah. because <laughs> definitely there have been moments recently where I'm like, I am the oldest person in this room. Yeah, you start noticing how young people look and you go, oh, they don't look like me. Anyway. Yeah, no, <laughs> we I have back pain and nobody else here does. Yeah. So it's time for me to go home. <laughs> so on the opposite side of that vibe, uh, maybe for our, our 30 plus 30 year old plus listeners, yeah. um, if you're looking for a cozy spot, you want to watch the game, you want to eat something. But, you know, uh, sound hurts your ears now and you can't sure. think and you have back pain. Um, where's a place you could go watch your favorite team with your friends? You're going to keep it chill, keep it casual. Um, yeah, I've got two favorites. I'm biased to one because I live near it. And so um, uh, I'll get that one out of the way uh, here in Southeast Boise. There's a place called The Refuge. And um, it's right next to Lemon Tree and the Griddle. It's kind of behind some trees. It's kind of hidden a little bit. Um, but it's sit down. But they they have great food. Um, there's this guy named JP that's always bartending. He's always like, they always have a great dinner special. Um, they just take good care of you. And it's, you know, it's fun, but it's mellow. Um, there's some pool tables if you want to play pool. But um, great for watching games. Um, and then I'm also thinking of Bricks which is out towards um, Shinden and Glenwood, on State Street, actually, so uh, Glenwood and State. And um, Bricks, I'm, I'm a diehard Gonzaga basketball fan. I cried in the middle of Bricks a few years ago when they lost the national championship game. I have strong emotional ties to Bricks, as you can tell, or PTSD, either way. But um, Bricks uh, is much more restaurant, but not too stiff and you know chain-ish feeling. Lots of screens, lots of bar uh, options, uh, great staff. And you can like take the kids and the grandparents or vice versa if you need to. Oh, make it a family affair. And exactly. it's good to know you can cry there. You know, it's yeah. Yeah. They haven't invited me back, if you can believe that. But um, it was a, it was an emotional night. And every time I drive by Bricks, I think of that night. Is there a local spot that doesn't doesn't necessarily have a huge sports vibe, but is surprisingly a good spot to watch a game that maybe people don't know about? Um, yeah, I, I think that all of our breweries, which, by the way, are all ages, right? So you can take the kids and not get too crazy. You can take your dogs to most of them are great options. Um, but uh, one that a f- friends and I will share is Clairvoyant. Mm. Um, it's right on Idaho Street, kind of on the edge of downtown Boise. And um, they do a great job. There's enough TVs to enjoy a game. You're never going to be battling with people wanting to watch games. And so you can kind of have your space, enjoy the time. And they have a great rotating food truck option too. And so there's no kitchen at Clairvoyant, but you never know what food truck's going to be there. And I've found some of my favorites just pulled up right up front uh, year round. And 
different spots. We talked about, you know, the Horseshoe and Boise State specific spots. Um, but what are some other spots that really rep certain teams that people should know about? So if you're going there, you need to know it's an unspoken rule that everyone is going to be rooting for this specific team. So maybe if it's Boise State versus BYU, do not show up in your BYU jersey. That's not the place or the time. Right. Well, I don't know how many BYU fans are going to bars. However, um, we you'd do be, have... You'd, be, you'd maybe be surprised, Mateo. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. That's that's a rival of mine, so i got to throw some shade. Um, I know that uh, during basketball season, uh, Gonzaga always takes over the um, Lost Grove location in the north end which is just across from uh, Perea. And during football season, listen, the Vandals, the Mighty Vandals are having a great um, a great run this year. I know that they have a watch spot somewhere, and I'm literally looking it up right now. Idaho. Perea downtown. The Idaho Vandals have official watch parties at Perea in downtown Boise. Man, um, Perea's really checking a lot of those boxes. They are, yeah. I had no idea. So, yeah, the, the, the downtown vibe is, is very different from the North End vibe. But apparently that's where you go if you're a Vandal uh, or an alum to watch the game. And they're winning, which is so fun because the Vandals, Vandal fans and alums are some of the most fun of the entire nation. Uh, they're diehards. And they, they are win, absolutely diehards. Yes. And they never win. So when they win, they're like the happiest people on earth. Uh, so uh, here's to bringing back the Boise State-Idaho rivalry. And apparently, if you're a Vandal fan, Perea, downtown Boise, is the move. Okay, Mateo, to round things out, we have to know... What is your top pick? Like, what are you awarding as the best sports bar in Boise? Mm. Well, you're going to think that they're paying me to say this because I'm going to go back to them. But I have amazing sports memories at Perea. Um, standing room only, party vibes, big tables, meeting new. I've met new friends there. Uh, I've met local business owners there, people that I stay in touch with. I mean, it's just I think that they do a great job of bringing people together together cramming them in, turning the volume up, putting the screens on, and uh, giving you a good time. So I'm giving uh, Boise's North End Perea location the uh, the crown. Are you just saying that because now you're going to be getting free drinks there every time you come? I wish. Can somebody <laughs> send this to them, please? Well, thank you so much, Mateo. This was a really great breakdown of all the different sports bars that people in Boise should be hitting up. For sure. Yeah. Thanks for having me. And um, go, uh, go check out Perea sometime soon. That's all for today here on CityCast Boise. If you enjoyed the show, you should subscribe to our Hey Boise newsletter for even more local tips. We'll be back tomorrow morning with our Friday news roundup. You won't want to miss it.